Hello everyone, this is Val. Um, I haven't uploaded a video um, to my channel for a very long time, but a friend of mine um, encouraged me to add a video of a shoebox unbox unboxing um, to show you what kinds of things I pack in the shoebox for Operation Christmas Child. Um, Operation Christmas Child is an organization. It's part of Franklin Graham's Samaritan's Purse, and it's pretty near and dear to my heart. I pack about 100 shoe boxes every year, and um, basically, it's an organization that collects shoe boxes that are packed by volunteers and the shoe boxes are then delivered all around the world um, to children. Um, it's part of a Christian ministry outreach program. And if you would like to, if you're unfamiliar with it, and you would like to um, know more about Operation Christmas Child, you can go to the website SamaritansPurse.org and you can find out all about where to get the shoe boxes, um, how to pack them, where to take them when you're done packing, when to take them, um, what to pack in them, what not to pack in them, what kinds of shoe boxes you can use. You don't have to use these red and green boxes, um, but you can get these boxes on the website. Um, they have them for sale. These. This one is a cardboard box. They also have plastic boxes. And this is, happens to be my favorite because they're the least expensive. And um, if you use a shoe box that you have at home, that's great. And I often do that too. Um, um, you can wrap the box, you can decorate it. Um, and you can use, um, they, they like you to use a standard size shoe box, but I've been known to use slightly larger boxes. <laughs> um, if I can't get everything that I want to put in a particular shoe box, um, in the regular size shoe box, I will go to a larger box, like a bigger shoe box, like a box that men's shoes would come in or even boot boxes. Um, and so I'm going to show you what I packed in this shoe box. Um, this is for a boy and it um, is, it has a theme. The theme is red and green. So the items packed in this box are all in the red and green color scheme. And I like that um, because then it matches the red and green um, box. And so let me show you what I packed. So when he opens his box, um, he will see that I decorated the lid. Um, I just used a piece of scrapbook paper um, that had reds and greens on it. And I added the phrase, yes, Jesus loves you with sticker, sticker letters. And when I repack this box, I'm going to put this at the very bottom. <laughs> what this is, I call it a play mat. I make these um, using scrapbook paper, um, cardstock. Um, I cut 12 by 12 cardstock in half. I laminate each piece and then I put them together with tape so that they fold and fits in the shoe box. And I was inspired to make these um, when I saw photos that Operation Christmas Child had posted on Instagram of children in Madagascar who had received boxes. And in the pictures, it looked as though they um, only had, you know, the ground outside to play on. And some of the things we pack are puzzles, card games, play-doh modeling clay and you can't really play with those things on a dirt surface um, with rocks and pebbles and so i thought these would be a great addition to the box they lay flat 
they give us a, a smooth clean surface and the best part is on the back because I laminate them you can use them as dry erase so if you pack dry erase markers they can draw the children could draw or um, practice writing so I think those are a great addition to a shoebox so the first thing that he will see is a Thai Beanie Baby Bear and this um, came from a collection um, that was donated to me by a really dear friend her name is Angie she's an angel and she um, she had collected these for years and her mother had collected them too and they're in perfect mint pristine condition never played with so um, this was one that came from her collection and I I just love this little red bear his name is Sizzle and Sizzle has a friend um, the friend is this elf that I um, got on Christmas clearance and I think I got it from Walgreens but it could have been Michael's or even Hobby Lobby. I just don't remember. Um, and I can't remember how much I paid for him, but I know he was real cheap. <laughs> Same with this little um, owl, green owl with the red Christmas hat. And so I also packed a t-shirt. Um, it's just a a green basic green light colored green shirt I packed two pairs of underwear one is green one is red and these have bears on them they're fruit of the loom they got kind of a sports theme this little panda bear on here is playing soccer and this little polar bear is playing hockey I also packed a pair of socks these are Christmas socks with reds and greens and inside I tucked in a pair of sunglasses they've got heart-shaped lenses but I still think a little boy will love these um, they're red and they're cat ears and I think they're adorable and I know I got these um, at Walgreens, and I think it was after Easter clearance. So, the next thing I will show you, um, this is a miniature recorder. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby in the Playside Creations collection. I go crazy when Playside Creations go on sale at Hobby Lobby because they have so many great things for shoe boxes. <laughs> this is another Playside Creations item. It's a little hacky sack ball. Um, and most of the things that you purchase um, in the Playside Creations collection at Hobby Lobby come in multi-packs. Um, I think there were three or four in a pack um, of these hacky sack balls. And the next thing, this is also from Playside Creations. It's a little noisemaker. And it says clap for the Lord on it. It's in, the, it's in the color scheme. Toothbrush. This is from, I believe from Dollar Tree. The toothbrush came in a multi-pack and the the cap is also from Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of four. But I'm going to show you another toothbrush that I packed. I have a red Christmas stocking, little miniature stocking. I have things stuffed inside of it. This, um, this isn't the only toothbrush that I'm packing because I believe this is really intended for infants. Um, but I think a two to four year old would be able to use this effectively and it's real cute so what you do is you push this button and it pops up and then you take the lid off it's got a real um, little brush head with very soft bristles and that's what leads me to believe it really is intended for a baby but i think it's super cute so 
I'm going to pack that also. He's got a little green pullback toy car. He's got a, this is from Playside Creations also. It is a cross necklace. And I also have beads. I have a red strand and a green strand. This little boy will also receive pencil sharpener, color green, a colored pencil sharpener, a reindeer whistle. And this, I love this. This is a, a flip car from the dollar spot at Target. This is a fire engine. Um, but the great thing about these flip cars, it was a dollar. Um, they flip into a different kind of car or vehicle, I should say. This one flips. The tag kind of gets in the way when I flip it, but I want to leave the tag on because I thought that that would show um, who the parent or this whoever is supervising the little boy that it flips into another kind of <laughs> another kind of car. This flips into a dump truck. So that's really cute. This little boy is going to get a red cup, a green bowl, a green spoon, a red fork. He will receive a green comb. I've got another uh, toy car. Um, I think this is from the Disney movie Cars. Um, this um, car does not move forward, but it winds up and it kind of bounces up and down. It's really cute. I guess it does move. It might be moving because it's slanted. But anyway, it bounces up and down, so it's really cute. And I have a little watermelon pouch. Wish I could remember where I got it, but I don't. <laughs> um, I'm thinking it might have been Walgreens on clearance. And inside the pouch from Playside Creations at Hobby Lobby is a little blow-up um, beach ball, a miniature one. Um, I have got a uh, magic towel um, for this little boy's washcloth. Um, has a dinosaur on it. I think it's real cute. Um, sometimes I pack these. Sometimes I pack regular washcloths. Um, I have opened these to see how they are. And they're not real soft and plushy. But they're durable because I've even used them and washed them. And I, I think they're great. <laughs> they fit so nicely in a shoebox when you don't have room for a thicker, plushier washcloth. He has a bar of soap. It's, um, it's from the Dollar Tree. These used to come in three in a pack, I think. This is Dial. Um, and now they only come in two, two packs for a dollar. They have another kind, I think it might be Dove or Ivory, that comes in a three pack. That's the kind I buy now. And this is a little stretchy elf toy <laughs> stuck him in there um, this little boy has a box of crayons he has a puzzle PJ masks this is from the Dollar Tree um, there's a red character and a green character there's also a blue character but red and green is there I didn't really have room in this box for a full-size coloring book, which I like to pack. But Dollar Tree has these really great little coloring books. Um, this one is Forest Friends, and when I think of forest, I think of green evergreen trees. <laughs> so I packed this. Um, inside, I added some coloring sheets. Um, I believe these are Crayola. I actually found these in my basement. 
I have three daughters and they're all grown up and out of the house now. But whenever I go to my basement and start looking around, I always find great things for my shoe boxes, colored pencils, um, just all kinds of things. And I found these coloring sheets in perfect condition. Um, I tried to pick out um, some sheets that when you color them, they would be in the color scheme red and green. This is a tree, strawberry, apple. Um, I believe that's a lime. That's popcorn, which doesn't go in the theme, but cherries. So he's got plenty to color with his crayons. Um, I included this little package of disinfectant wipes. I usually don't pack these, but one day I discovered in Walmart in the clearance aisle that these were on clearance for 15 cents. Um, and I bought a bunch. <laughs> they came with different characters. This is emoji, but they also had baby shark and the little LOL dolls. And I bought a bunch. His pencil pouch has a Hot Wheels car on it. It says brush, brush Buddies on here, so I think that there was a Brush Buddies toothbrush from the Dollar Tree in this pouch. And I probably took it out and put it um, in a bigger baggie where I keep my toothbrushes. And so I decided to use this for a pencil pouch. Um, in it, the little boy has... Um, he has a six inch um, slap ruler, slap bracelet ruler, and he has four pencils, red and green pencils, green scissors. These scissors are play side creations, by the way. They come in a pack of 12. When they go on sale for 50% off, I usually buy them. Um, it makes them about, I think about 37 or 39 cents a piece. I also packed a couple of erasers, a frog and a peppermint candy. There's also some stickers in here. I've got more stickers. Green notebook from the Dollar Tree. I usually don't spend a dollar on a notebook. Um, well, actually I do buy a few of these. Um, because when you can't really fit or you can't make it work, a full-size notebook, these are really great. And so this little boy is getting a hundred sheet notebook so that he can practice his writing or draw pictures or put his stickers in. I also have a, a little pad of paper. These come from the... Um, the dollar spot at Target at different times. They have these in solid colors. Sometimes they have cute designs on them. They're just filled with blank paper. I stuck some stickers in here. Um, just Disney characters. Um, some, um, I don't even know where I got these stickers. Feel good stickers, I call them. This is um, this came in a, a pad of stickers. The characters Rusty Rivet. They were on clearance at Walmart. Um, some more Good Job stickers. A little sheet of Christmas stickers. And I also have my note to the child. Um, it's a card that I made. And I put it in the envelope. And I always put on the envelopes uh, a little note um, so when they inspect this box at the processing center um, maybe they will think they don't necessarily have to open the envelope because I write a note that says no money inside and then please remove this sticky at the processing center not sure if that works they may still inspect the envelope I don't know um, just a photo of my family Last thing is a little tote bag. Um, this character is Ryan from Ryan's World. I thought this is real cute because even though the child um, 
may not be able to read these words. <laughs> you can look at the facial expressions on this little boy. It says, today I feel. <laughs> I thought that was real cute. So that is my box for a two to four year old boy. And if you um, enjoyed watching, I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, I maybe do more. I may be doing more of these unboxing videos in the future. Thanks for watching.